Good morning everybody, how are we all? It feels like it has been so long since I last picked up the camera and that's probably because it actually was. I haven't seen you since I filmed my coat edit, which I will link if you haven't seen it already. I actually got a bit poorly after filming that and basically spent the whole weekend kind of resting, recovering. It's now Tuesday and I'm back now. I had a really good like sort out my life day yesterday I did all of the things that normally stop me from getting the camera out at the start of the week and actually vlogging so yeah i'm very excited to be back with you today i actually have some more sorting out to do with you which is the more fun kind of sorting out so i've got a lot to do in the wardrobe room but it's looking really good at the moment and i'm excited to share it with you and by really good i mean it doesn't look terrifying to step into like it's a room that you don't actually mind being in whereas before it was kind of like oh this actually looks crazy and it's been like that for about a month now one of the wardrobes we needed to make a couple of adjustments to it and now that we've done that it looks amazing it functions really well and i'm very very happy with it but before we crack on i'm actually going to make myself another coffee i'm going to go for a decaf but I just feel like i need a little like cozy drink i've literally just finished doing my makeup so it's everywhere right now and um nalo is just enjoying the view of it apparently morning how are you how are you doing? Is it even a vlog if we don't have a daily dose of Nala's cuteness? I don't think so. Do you know what I'm really excited about? It is getting close to dog jumper time. That's the best time of the year, isn't it? Because you look your actual cutest. Oh, that's a big stretch. Big stretch. I mean, that yoga's really doing you good. Speaking of yoga, I also have an aloe yoga order that arrived. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. I've been so excited for it to arrive. I actually snuck a couple of bits out early which are there but really excited to unbox all of that with you because aloe yoga stuff is so good i have a few favorite like activewear brands and it is definitely one of them it's such gorgeous stuff like so soft we have a real non-outfit of the day outfits today so i'm wearing my new york sweater i've got a new white sweater let's see how long it stays white for from in the style i really like the ones that lorna does where they're basically just city name on them i think they're really cute yeah then i've just got my varley leggings and my white company little slippers which i just love on my lips today i have anastasia beverly hills naked liquid lipstick with vive brat liner it just gives like it a nice pinky hue because naked can actually just look very like a really plain nude without a lip liner so i always like to add a lip liner Okay, so aim of the game today <laughs> is to get this footstool clear because this is stressing me out. This is not the way it's meant to look, guys. This is my wardrobe room for those of you who haven't seen it. So this is my Depop rail over here. It is full and it's about to get fuller. All of these wardrobes are my wardrobes. This is the only wardrobe space in the house. Over time, I'm hoping that I will be able to have something a bit more custom added in, but this is doing me fine for now. And the insides of the wardrobes are not looking too bad, but I do want to have a look through them, pick out anything that is maybe unseasonal and needs to be stored away that I've missed or that maybe I've missed for Depop. I'm just going to have a really good route through everything today. So in this wardrobe, we have the bottom drawers, which are fairly, dare I say, organised. Just literally like my basic sweaters. Got one that needs to go back in here today. And then hats and belts down the bottom. And as you can see, this is mainly like coats going into shirts, going into shirt jackets, going into coatigans, going into cardigans. And then we have this little middle section, which is just full of shoes. The top is looking quite unseasonable. As we go lower, we've got boots and, you know, actual shoes that cover your feet and then over here we have 
remodeled a little bit. We've had some renovations going on, which is why I haven't shown you this room in a long time. So the top is looking fairly as it would normally. The rail is actually slightly higher than it used to be, and there used to be a shelf up here. The shelf has been moved down, so I now have a space for like hats and scarves. And then below that, we actually have drawers now, which is so exciting. So when I got these wardrobes, I also ordered some spare drawers. I always knew that the wardrobe over here was going to have drawers at the bottom, but I ordered some spare drawers just in case. And it actually worked out because the drawers came in very handy, weirdly for bags. So yeah, bags are now here. We then have like dresses going into dressier tops and things like that, going into trousers skirts and shorts but yeah because of the amount of knitwear that I like to wear during the winter months I actually decided to store all of my knitwear down the bottom and then all of my jeans as well because they're very heavy and this isn't like the most robust wardrobe in the world so I just thought it would work out better not putting too much strain on it and doing like a full rail at the bottom of jeans so yeah actually really happy with how this looks and it's just so neat and really really pleasing to me so I'm super happy with that I don't think I'll need to go through this at all today so that is how the wardrobe room is shaping up so i've got a few bits to put away this morning i'm then also going to get my coats out of storage and have a little sort through see if there's anything that i want to put on my depop if i can't see myself wearing it again this year and i didn't wear it last winter which was a strange winter i held on to a lot of things because i didn't get the wear out of that much last winter i really didn't leave the house Okay, so step one of my autumn winter wardrobe, clear out, tidy up thing is complete. The majority of things are back where they belong. Feels good, everything's feeling very tidy. So it's good to note at this stage that this is like an in-between seasonal clear out. I've already done one big like end of summer clear out, which you guys didn't get to see because we were kind of like rejigging the wardrobes at the same time and it was just... We kind of had to take them a bit apart to get them back together and it was a bit of a nightmare so definitely not a situation that i wanted to vlog now that everything is in the wardrobes and everything has a place is to take inventory see what i've got see if there's anything i want to take out that can then free up space either just for the wardrobe to breathe for new things whatever you want but this is a good little practice to do is just to kind of like see if there's anything that you could depop that could go to a better home basically so this isn't going to be a lot because there is definitely a lot on depop already however i am considering popping this on depop this is like actually a two set from zara i really like it but i definitely haven't got too much wear out of it and that is because part of me feels like this color actually really washes me out so this is a set that i'm essentially going to depop maybe i'll see if i want to keep the trousers so yeah this is the blazer do i keep it do i depop it i know i've just thrown it over my shoulders but hopefully you kind of get the vibe i then have this two set which i haven't got that much wear out of recently but this this is one of those colors that i'm like mm, yes this is a this is a good color for me so i'm gonna see if i get any more wear out of it over the next coming months but the thing that i struggle with with this blazer is that it doesn't have a collar and i don't feel like that suits me the best like it does look much better if you actually belt it and make it more of a dress so if you have a skirt underneath for insurance it works quite nicely but yeah because of lockdown i haven't worn this in a very long time it's just one of those real classic pieces and it makes me apprehensive to let it go okay then we have shirts i have a lot of shirts here lots of white shirts white shirts in different shapes sizes but all very essential really i'm basically going to keep my white shirts out predominantly for winter and then my silk shirts because i think they work much better for this time of year then we have all of my shirt jackets which i just love at the moment some of them are new some of them are old like these two are from last year these two are this year we've then got a new look teddy bear jacket two trench coats and then we go into my coatigans or like wool kind of belted coats this one is from all saints but yeah this one i just love i will never ever get rid of this and this is the perfect like early winter jacket like when we go into like deep winter the real padded coats like need to come out we then have my zara white kind of waterfall wool trench coat thing this one is again a tie waist i love that kind of vibe if it looks like a dressing gown i'm here for it and then we have the mango 
Crotigan, which is just a staple for me. I absolutely adore this. I love the fact that it's basically like a really heavy, thick cardigan. It is just the best coat. They really don't make it like this anymore. So I obviously need to tidy this up and sort out all the sleeves. I like to tuck them in. I don't know if you can see it. So I do that and then tuck them inwards just so they're not all sticking out. I need to go through and do that quickly. But I think that's as much as I'm going to be able to clear out right this second. So we've got four items that have come out of the wardrobe. So not completely ruthless, but not too bad either. I'm going to quickly take a look at shoes. So first up, I think... I might pop these on Depop. These are actually the Susie Flats from Topshop. Very, very cute name. I actually haven't worn these now in maybe like two years. I didn't wear them all summer last year. I don't think the shape is so flattering on my foot, but I love a slingback. Absolutely love a slingback. And then also, I think I'm going to pop these boots on Depop because I'm just not getting the wear out of them. I didn't realise I actually got them. I got the sizing wrong. I got them in a 39 which is too big for me. So no wonder I found them quite clumpy to wear. They're really good dupes for the Chloe boots that are out at the moment. Now, do I pop these on Depop? Do I keep them? I think I might have to keep them, you know, but let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. So having a brief look through, just to see what we've got going on in here. We've got my leather shorts, which I'm so excited to wear very soon. I've got lots of London days booked in, so those would definitely be coming with me this time. I will not forget them. However, I've just been looking at this pair of shorts and I don't think I'm going to put them on Depop, but I am going to pop them in storage as like a summer pair of shorts. And that frees that space up for a new skirt, which I've just picked up, which is something which is so, such an integral part in my opinion of any wardrobe, but that I didn't have. And I'm so excited to have it. We've then got my tops and this is all looking very nice to me and very kind of like streamlined. Very, very happy with that. So now we're going to move on to the winter coat clear out. Taking a big breath. Not something I want to do, but it needs to be done because I'm having a big Depop day this Thursday. So I need to have this done ahead of Thursday. Okay, I've brought you into the living room because we've got a little bit more space in here. The light's a bit better. You can see things a bit better. I've got my coats from the loft. There's actually not as many here as it looks like there might be. These are like the winter coats. So they are very chunky and they pile up very quickly. However, I've just had the most fun rifling through all of the vacuum seal bags. Pro tip on storing your winter coats. Vacuum seal bags are everything. Honestly, you couldn't live without them, but I'm so happy because I actually found, let me see if I can, let's make this a bit better. I actually found so many great coats that I completely forgot that I had. Normally I just go up into the loft every end of autumn and I just kind of know what I want and I rifle through, find things, pull things out, re-vacuum seal them, pop them back away. But this year I've got them all out. This is such a find. I actually think this coat has been like biding its time, waiting for me to kind of grow into this. But yeah, I threw this on, it just felt like it looked cute. I love it. I think it actually looks really great with like a nice leather bag. My Chanel would look very, very cute with this. It's really like Chanel vibes and I love that. And then just a plain pair of black boots. Let us do all the talking. Okay, so I think we can all agree that this one is staying. I'm not even asking you guys. I think we're all going to agree. You can go over here with Adele. Next, I want to show you guys the coat that a lot of my friends have basically begged me to put on Depop because it does melt a little bit, which can be a bit annoying if I'm a passenger in your car. Basically, I'm going to, if I keep this, I'm going to have to bring my limp roller everywhere and just apologize to people. But it is the cutest, like cream, it's like a slight off white, which I only realize if I'm wearing something that is like a true white. It's just such a lovely one I feel to have in my wardrobe. And I love how the fur is just like, it's a very short faux fur. So it's very simple. It's not like teddy bear fur. It's not taking over. Okay, another one, which I would call it an oldie, but a goodie, but I actually have only had it a couple of years, but it's safe to say this is like a real staple in my winter wardrobe. This is one for like the real wintery days when it's very, very cold. It's an All Saints puffer jacket. I absolutely adore this coat. I'm literally like a giant marshmallow in this, but I absolutely love it. It keeps me so snuggly, but also I don't not feel cute in this. And that is rare for a coat that is just like this oversized. Now this, I didn't even know I owned. It's from River Island. I don't remember buying this, which I think goes to show how old this coat must be because I genuinely don't remember this. It is a gorgeous black military style felted trench and 
this is just such a gorgeous vibe. I love it. I actually love it. It's not something that I thought I had in my wardrobe and it is so beautiful. The quality is really great as well. I've worked out that this must be judging. I mean, some of you might remember me buying this if you do. Your memory is scary because my memory is good, but even I don't really remember this coat. But I think it might have been bought around like 2016. The absolute latest would have been 2017. Next, we have the Dream Team. I have two of the same coat. These are very big on me, like very roomy. There's definitely space for knitwear in here, which is fab. Again, that rich kind of camel color that I just love is coming through. This is a teddy bear coat from Misguided. The teddy bear fabric is very, it's like real Borg style. Is that the right pronunciation? I honestly can't remember. But it's very kind of like rough. It's not the most expensive feeling coat in the world. It's actually very light. These for me are not like peak winter coats at all. They look it if you want like real teddy bear vibes but you actually don't want to overheat. These are great coats. They still make these now but they have a big zip on the pocket which I don't love as much. I definitely prefer these. They're much more simple. Annoyingly, they're still making them year on year now with the big zip on the pocket. It's just not as cute. So I have it in tan and then I also have it in black which actually, I don't think I got the black one out last year. It was very cute, just love them both so much. I'm not gonna end up depopping anything, am I? Okay, no, actually, I say that. This next one is that kind of like big teddy bear material. It's similar to the Zara one that I just picked up. However, it doesn't feel, the quality's not the same. Like the Zara one is like premium compared to this. This one is a lovely cream tone, it's very, very big on me. This is one that I'm considering putting on Depop, but I'm really not sure. It is much more oversized than the Zara one that I've just picked up, and I think the Zara one has a better fit. But yeah, let me know what you think. This is one that I am actually not sure on if it's a forever piece in my wardrobe. So that one can go over here in the not sure pile. Then we have another one, which I actually really enjoyed wearing last year but let me know what you think. It is the cutest faux fur pea coat. I would love to know what you think. I actually got a lot of wear out of this last year with like leggings and jeans and then lace up boots, which is definitely after my Fendi boot purchase going to be a repeat theme again this winter. So I think it would work really well into my winter wardrobe, but in terms of, I'd like to make my decisions on what I'm gonna pop on my Depop now, because now is the time. Like, you guys are all looking out for your winter coats, so I should probably make a decision sooner rather than later. And then we have, <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> this really weighs me down to wear it, but I absolutely love it. There is nothing quite like this teddy bear coat. This is from a brand called Jane and Tash. They do really great leather jackets and then both uh, kind of like org jackets like this. In the most incredible colors, like I love this color. It's not quite that beige that I was talking about earlier that washes me out. It's a little bit more rich, a little bit more taupey. I think it really suits me. This is a real cold winter coat. It might look very similar to the misguided ones, but it's so heavy. I get so warm in this. It is absolutely ridiculous. So this is one that I think I will always keep because it was quite expensive, but also because it serves a purpose that my other teddy bear coats just don't. I think someone said we're meant to have a cold winter this year, like a very cold winter. So this might be one that comes out and that I get a lot of wear out of and I will not be mad about that. So yeah, let me know what you think on these three. It's funny that all three of the ones that I'm not sure on basically look the same, but also kind of makes sense at the same time. Like you don't need so many coats that look the same, she says, with a pile of teddy bear coats behind her. Anyway. Okay, I am done. For the most part, things are looking very nice and neat in here. This is looking very autumnal in here now. My Depop rail, which also has bits of my events dresses, which I just don't have a place for, is also looking nice and full because we have the addition of these three coats. So let me know. I'm only gonna keep one because they are all very similar. So let me know which one you think I should keep. But yeah, they are taking up a lot of space. So we've had to bump out the rail. This rail is extendable. It is amazing. Yeah, it feels good to have had a little pre 
winter wardrobe clear out. I've popped the two lighter coats that I found into the jacket coat section of my wardrobe and then I've put the bigger teddy bear coats back into storage for now because we're definitely not ready for them yet. The weather is not quite there yet. I'm so excited for when it finally is. It'll be so nice to wear them. I just realised I've got the uh, old half up half down going on. This is where you know I'm in business when my hair goes half up half down. Good morning everybody. Do I look tired? I look tired don't I? I had the worst night's sleep last night. I had a lot of like weird night terrors the weather was really bad so the fences are like rattling in their posts which is really keeping me up i had like a weird dream about the strangers a film that i have never seen but i know for some reason i know it in serious detail so yeah i didn't sleep particularly well and i feel like i look like i didn't sleep very well today i also have therapy this morning wednesdays are a bit of a weird day for me because i have therapy in the morning and then I always feel a little bit foggy after so i've just kind of been sat here like what am I doing? What I am doing is putting on some makeup because I have a few bits of work to get done today. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna put on some foundation, get on with the day. And I thought I would chat to you whilst I do so because I haven't had a good little chat with you in a while. And in all honesty, I find October is such a strange time of year for me. It's very much a transitional season in the literal sense, like in the physical weather, seasonal sense. But also in my life, I've always found it to be like, just a lot of stuff gets unearthed during an October. There's always something going on during birthday month, which is kind of weird. But yeah, there's been a lot going on personally for me over the last month. Without saying too much, there's been like a, I would say like a big pillar in my life that is going to no longer be the same. And it's not the end of the world because I'm at a point in my life where I have lots of other pillars to like hold me up, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've also been doing therapy for a couple of months now and I'm really feeling like the benefits of that. I think we will be coming to the end of like the main bulk of that soon which is great and I'm really feeling like some positive things have come from it. But yeah it feels good to have worked through some things over the past couple of months and feeling really good for it, really happy that I took that plunge because I really wasn't super keen on going back into therapy again, starting with a new therapist but it has been so great for me. One of the things that I'm really trying to do at the moment, which I always find really helps if I'm feeling a bit uncertain in life, is just taking care of myself physically, like making sure I get good workouts in. I've been really trying to focus on that recently, just kind of like focus inwards. It really helps me just feel a little bit better when there's a lot going on. It can be quite overwhelming. I've got the new LCA eyeshadow palettes. These are the monochrome eyeshadow palettes. So this one is really nice. I actually use it for the crease, but the shimmers in this are very, very similar to one of my favorites from Hourglass palette that I have. I can't remember what the shade is. I think it might be key. The glossier shadow is actually way more pigmented, but they look very similar. Oh, and I also picked up this. This is the Glossier Cookie Butter Lip Balm. It is so good. Mm. It basically looks and smells like Biscoff. It's in it's incredible. Oh, and I do have a discount code. I think it's 10% off for Glossier if you want to pick any of those bits up. But yeah, that is my little life update. It feels like that figuring out who you are whilst during your 30s thing has already kicked in. I'm kind of trying to decide at the moment. Well, not decide, but thinking about what I want to do housewise. And I have a lot of options, which is never a bad situation to be in but i am really not sure what the best one is going to be it's one of those situations where there's quite a few options so it makes deciding even harder and none of them are necessarily bad options like there isn't really a right or wrong so yeah that's kind of taking up a lot of my brain space at the moment but yeah right now i can't really give you many other updates than that it's kind of in those very early stages where nothing's really super certain so I will probably give you a huge update like next year and like in the new year and let you know everything that has been going on. If any of you have been through a weird limbo phase at the start of your 30s or just in your 30s in general and you have any advice, I would love to read it. So feel free to leave your life advice, your stories. I would love to know if any of you are also experiencing or have experienced the same thing.
so I've done my stories. I've also done a little outfit of the day for Instagram. It's going well this morning. It is going well. Normally after therapy, I feel so foggy that I really don't get too much done. I kind of just sit and work through my admin, but I don't really get like to do this, but I'm feeling very good today. So we're gonna roll with this. I'm having some good luck and I'm not questioning it. Also, how cute is my little cup? It's like a full like metal one. And it is just my vibe. It is my color. It is my vibe. I'm obsessed with it. So we are back. At the unboxing station this is just my favorite place to sit and chat to you guys i have a few bits from all saints that have been delivered can i get into this box here we go okay it's just the one thing so i think something else is coming separately so it's that time of year where all saints do their annual festive party and they have kindly gifted me something to wear for it i picked this dress which is actually like way more shimmery in real life than i was expecting but i'm excited to try this on yes yeah, so we've got this gorgeous metallic bodycon on the bottom and then loose on the top kind of dress very similar to the style that i wore for my birthday so i know it's a style that i really love the princess has come to sit with us we then have an aloe yoga order which i am so buzzed about so in addition to the two items that i was telling you about the other day that i snuck out of the box early because i just couldn't resist are the aloe yoga lounge leggings i mean I've bought things outside of the lounge range. But I don't think anything will ever top the lounge range for me. They have this really comfy ribbed little panel here, which seems to like almost like cinch you in, but it feels so comfortable. So this is the same set as the bright pink set that I have that I love so much. I just really wanted to have a more like neutral version. And these are just everything. This shade of gray is a really nice shade of gray as well. Most grays really wash me out, but this kind of gray actually like makes my skin tone look quite nice. I also have, I haven't worn this yet but i have the matching aloe soft lavish bra these are just such a lovely fit and again have that really nice like ribbed texture around the bottom i've got both of those in a small as with my pink pair and the fit of the leggings is great i also picked up the same style of bra in the darker gray this is the gravel color which i just think is so gorgeous the leggings are currently out of stock but i thought i'd get the top and wait for the leggings to hopefully come back i then picked up some cycle shorts i got these in a couple of colors but this is just such a gorgeous color it's like a gray with a bit of green really really beautiful i think the color of this is sterling and they're the high waist biker short really really cute I really like those they look like they're going to be a very good length of cycle short on me and then i got the matching top which is so so cute I'm really excited to try those on i also am very excited about the fact that i got a free tote bag love that and then i also got a white set of cycle shorts which are gonna be very cute they're actually not the white they are like a cream color because they do a like bright white this is ivory and i just thought that ivory would work quite nicely even if i'm wearing like this cardigan and i want to like have like a little cycle shorts and top set on underneath very very cute and then i got a top to hopefully match but that doesn't match if that makes sense so it's not one of the ones that comes as a set but i'm pretty sure the color is the same this is more like a knitted effect style yoga bra and it's very very cute i really liked the look of the cut i just thought that would be very very cute and then finally we have this jacket which is just the most incredible jacket. We need to try this on right now. This is the one that Kendall Jenner wears in their campaign photos at the moment. I honestly, when I was shopping for all of my like leggings, which were the like essentials, I didn't think this was gonna be available. I just checked and it was in like full stock and it is, I need to, hang on, please hold. It is the snuggliest thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my God. It's giving me real 2000s vibes, I'm not gonna lie. I actually used to have like a puffer jacket that was in almost this exact same style, like these flappy bits and everything. It has a hood. Oh my God, this is everything. Was anyone else like in like 2003 wearing jackets that were very similar to this, along with those like suede style, like slouchy boots with the buckle on them? So yeah, that is my little aloe yoga order. So lots of lovely essential things for the next couple of months to keep me nice and uh, snuggly, but also nice and toned, fingers crossed. So yeah, I'm excited to have a little clear out of my active wear, get these in the drawer. But anyway, let's try some of this on. And this is what Nala is up to this afternoon. She would like you all to know that she has reached peak comfort level on this giant cushion. <laughs> you are too much. Like you are actually just too much. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Oh, so cute. 
So this one needs a little steam, but overall, I think it's very cute, you know. It fits really nicely around the waist, bum and like thighs. And the top obviously has like a little bit of overhang as designed. It has little shoulder pads, but nothing too intense. It is very, very cute. It's coming up a lot more neutral in camera, but in real life there's this like gold tint to it, which is lovely. It makes it very festive. Yeah, really cute. Really like it. Thank you so much. All saints, I can't wait to wear it to your dinner. Okay, so trying on the ivory set first. I really like it. I actually really rate Aloe Yoga because all the smalls I have ordered and tried on so far, they've always had plenty of room in them. And I just really rate that. I like the fact that they don't do like small sizes, like their sizes run, I would say fairly true to size, if not like a little bit bigger maybe. So yeah, very, very happy with these two. I really like the fact that they match really well in terms of the color. The textures are slightly different, but in terms of the color, they match perfectly. They fit really well. They feel really comfortable. The leggings fit really well around the back as well. There's no like gaping. I'm very, very happy with these. Okay, this set is very, very cute. I really like this style of top. If you're looking to purchase from Aloe Yoga and you don't like padding, this is the style of top to go for. It's just a really simple, but very flattering top. So yeah, very cute little set. I've got to say, I really love the feel of these leggings. They just feel so soft, almost like a brushed cotton, I would say. Sorry, the light is really messing with me. Please hold. So yeah, with all of these, I've got a size small. Really, really happy with them, especially with this one as well. I thought when I got a small that this one would run very small. It just looks small when I like held it up, but actually really, really happy with it. The one thing I would say is this style of yoga bra runs smaller than the previous one that I was wearing with the texture in the ivory color. This one definitely runs smaller, so bear in mind if you're purchasing. So this is the dark gray bra of the two. And one thing that I wanted to mention on this that I forgot to say earlier is I picked this up in an extra small because number one, that was what was available and I desperately wanted this color. But number two, I was actually quite intrigued because like I said, the yoga bras generally come with a little bit more room in them when I get them in a small. So I was intrigued to see if an extra small would fit and I can confirm that it does. This one probably would be a lot better for me if I was doing anything more vigorous because it's definitely more supportive, but not too tight at all. So I could actually go down to an extra small, but in terms of just doing yoga and mat work, I think a small for me would be great. And actually in terms of lounging, because my other set go with the lounge pants, the small is perfect. But yeah, let me change my top and I'll be back with you. Oh yeah, so comfy. This set is just everything. I absolutely love it. It's just literally the most comfortable active wear to wear. It literally is perfect for doing like yoga or any kind of mat work where you just really want to be super comfy, but yoga is always one of those things where I feel like it's just even better if you're in something super, super comfortable. I literally want these in every single color. They are just gorgeous. Oh, I need to show you the jacket. Please hold. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. I just absolutely love it. And this is it when it's done up just to give you an idea of the length. Oh, it's just so cute.
morning everybody i am very shaky after this morning's workout i'm just getting ready to do my last shoot of the month and i'm praying that it doesn't start raining on me because that that will not be good i'm wearing a very cute little jumper today you will have to go over to my instagram and find out where it's from it should be live this weekend but yeah i'm just waiting for my curls to fully kind of drop out they look a little bit sausagey at the moment today is very full on i have shoots i have deep up things going on i have editing i have videos going live i have so many things going live so i'm gonna leave you here because otherwise i might drop some balls today but i hope you've all enjoyed this video and enjoyed having a little like refresh of my autumn wardrobe with me i'll be back with you again very very soon love you bye